welcome and thank you for joining us on Joburg today where we bring you the latest on what is happening in and around the city of Johannesburg. Take a look at our C40 section for updates on climate change. The rain that we have been experiencing lately has had varied effects on the city, including the formation of potholes on our roads. We spoke to the Johannesburg Road Agency to find out more about this, and this is what they had to say. We are a municipal entity of the city of Johannesburg that has been tasked with the responsibility of planning, designing and developing as well as maintaining the road infrastructure of the city. So when you have potholes on the road, generally it's an indication of a road infrastructure system that is in distress. The primary reason is that you have had over time either very, very big loads that are way beyond the design of the road infrastructure, beginning to basically significantly impact on the road to the point where it deteriorates. In other cases, it is because over time, cracks have developed on the, on the road surface itself. And as a result, when it rains, water is able to seep through into the bottom layers of the road infrastructure itself. So when the water seeps into the under layers, it generally weakens the structural integrity of the under layers. And as a result, they tend to fail and you get potholes forming. Our roads are seeing traffic levels that are very, very high. Uh, levels that have not been predicted in the past and levels that are seriously starting to affect our road network system. What are we doing about it? Towards the end of 2013, we embarked on a process to conduct what we call a visual condition assessment. In 2013, the quality of our roads has basically deteriorated from what it was back in 2008. That study has been very important for the city because what it has shown us is that over time we have not been able to manage and maintain the road network system at the level that we should. The amount of money that we are pumping into the road network system now is significantly higher for us to be able to solve the problems that cause potholes and restore the structural integrity of our road network system. My name is Steve and this is Joburg Today. Keep chatting to us on social media by following us on Twitter at Joburg Today and liking us on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv. Tell us what else you would like to see on the show. Also, when you're on the go, catch us on pockettv.mobi, and that is pocket with an I. We also asked the road agency to tell us why it is that so many of our roads and bridges are being flooded even though we have drainage systems in place. We're also responsible for the stormwater drains that we use to drain water away from roads uh, when it rains and, and the like. When we design and uh, construct a road, we would generally put drainage systems on that road. Now there are parts of the city that still don't have drainage systems, but we've got programs to try and install drainage systems. When you build a road, in fact, you would then design it to make sure that you are able to remove the water from the road and put it into proper drainage systems. Um, what has happened with the floods is that any system that is designed has capacity limitations. The kind of rain that we are seeing in Johannesburg now, um, in the last three weeks, is um, more than what we would see in Johannesburg over a year, normally. Uh, that creates problems, because then you've got large volumes of water that you have to deal with. My name is Omri and this is Joburg Today. And that brings us to the end of today's show. But click on the special focus section for more city coverage. Stay on top of the latest issues with Cap Talk and look forward to what Johannesburg has in store for you in the future with Joburg tomorrow. That is it from me. I love and I leave you with Hide and Seek by Jen Kinsella. Till next time. Back in ETV. Hi everyone, welcome back to Balcony TV Johannesburg. I'm your host, Al Franco, and we are on the balcony of, you guessed it, Randlords. And this is a special, special video, because we are in Johannesburg, but we have a wee Irish lass joining us. <laughs>
Yeah, we do. Welcome, Jennifer. Thanks very much. Yeah, Paddy's Day tomorrow. Go on. How, how <laughs> fitting. St. Paddy's Day here in South Africa tomorrow. Mm, yeah. Awesome. Okay, yeah. so what track are you going to play uh, for us? It's a new song. It's called Hide and Seek. Hide so, and Seek. Yeah, oh, please take it. it away, Jennifer. I, I look will. forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> But don't let the little things I say and do Change the way that you, but that you feel for me Well I know, I know there's everybody else But I keep the best part of myself for you, for you I do I do you. If this is a game of fight and seek, come find me, yeah When if this is a game, a game for two I play my part, I wait for you Yes, I know I'm hard to find But please don't, baby don't give up this time Well, I know just being here It isn't enough Nobody said it gets this tough Nobody said They see you taking my shit And I've taken yours We're behind closed doors I do love you I love you yeah. If this is a game of hide and seek Come find me, yeah When if this is a game, a game for two I play my part, I wait for you Yes, I know I'm hard to find but please don't, baby nah, Don't give up this time Well, I'm hiding, nah, I'm hiding I'm hiding in the corner Come find me, oh, won't you find me Come find me if you want me Bad. 